to a story you'll only see on 9, and we continue our coverage on the former FBI agent who died after being shot by an El Paso ISD police officer last Thursday at Franklin High School. Julio Cordero was allegedly vandalizing the school when he was approached by an EPISD officer, that altercation ultimately leading to his death. And questions left unanswered of what exactly led to the use of lethal force. Sources telling KTSM police officers with El Paso ISD do not have tasers, something the school district could not confirm or deny to our team due to the ongoing investigation. In an exclusive interview with KTSM, the brother of Cordero speaking out, saying that's a problem in and of itself. Publicly, I'm telling them, shame on you because you're working with students. I can't imagine you not carrying a taser when you're surrounded by adolescents who make rash decisions in a moment's notice. Cordero's death marks the third deadly shooting involving a school district police officer within the state of Texas. That's according to documents from the state's attorney general's office. The two prior deaths both happened at school districts in Houston, the first in 2004 and another in 2018. We have much more on our discussion with the Cordero family. You can find it on KTSM.com.